So I did an account review not too long ago, and I briefly went over my metal sets, but today I'm going to be showing you guys the best metal sets that I have and how you can get them. So of course, we'll go over the basics. So to craft a metal, you would go over here and get the fragments. To get the fragments, you can play League Battle, or you could do 60 second battle with the character uh, who has the assigned fragments. Like for Big Mom, I'm trying to get like a good Big Mom set going. So I uh, clear 60 second battle with Big Mom and I get three fragments and you need three fragments to make one metal. So yeah, that's how that works. And of course, then you would upgrade the metals and you have hammers too. So you could easily upgrade them by doing instant upgrade. But I would recommend saving them for like event medals, like these ones over here. It has a high percent chance of giving you crit by 6.5%. Trait 1 is on like almost never a 3 stars. So you just have to focus on these two for the rates. And to check the tags, you would go here and each tag gives you a different effect. So the best medals I'm going to show you guys are... The best metal sets I'm going to show you guys are... So if you go to filter and then you go to you go to Kuja Pirates, uh, so yeah, this okay. So Boy Hancock has a bunch of pretty good uh, tags. Uh, so if you could use any one of these because they're pretty good. Uh, yeah, they have it's it's a pretty good uh. So you could get three Boy Hancocks with like great traits, and you would get. A pretty good metal set going because uh it would be a trio effect now the next metal set i would get is probably a kaido set uh so like this one right here because they have trio effect for every single tag and that's pretty op but of course i would have to you would have to get nine star metal on this with like a good traits but yeah that would be also good you would also want to get a big mom set uh let me see if i have one you would want to get this big mom and then another big mom and then another big mom like the one in my 60 second battle big mom because then that would be a tree over here i still have to get that so i don't have that yet but now the final one that i actually do have and are actually very good are these ones so the trait this is a hp metal with a fire pistol luffy this is for attackers this is uh primarily for roger i would use it for and any attacker because this is pretty good for attackers and so you could switch this one out. you could switch the last one out uh if you want okay so i have two different metals you could use do snake man luffy or you could do dress rolls of law or you could use dress rolls of law and you would get trio effect for boost cooldown by 20 percent but you would miss out on the ones that aren't highlighted or you could use this snake man luffy uh, and a bunch of the tags would apply to it like straw hat paramecia captain worst gen and uh blood brothers now you could get the skill cooldown by 14 percent. you wouldn't get trio effect because this one isn't a dress rosa tag but it, you would get every other one so i feel like it depends on what you want to do but i would recommend doing this one because it's a triple luffy set which is pretty good now you could do a shanks set too uh because shanks has a bunch of good things you would miss out on the tree effect for uh school skill cooldown by 20 percent, but that would be okay because you would have all of these other ones and you could do a zora set but zora doesn't have that much tags the primary ones i would recommend is either a dress rosa set or any triple luffy would be good a kaido set or a big mom set that i don't currently have or a boa hancock set now i will show you guys the best metal set that i have currently and it's this one because okay this is primarily for straw hats because it's only straw hats if you're straw hat you get hp by 70 percent and attack by 70 percent so that's currently the best metal i have although i am working on this metal right here i'm trying to get the same amount but for any other unit so you would get so i'm trying to get attack by 70 percent and hp by 70 percent which will be hard because i need two more transfer traits for 18 percent for hp and i would need 
one more and then i would need a attack by 18 percent and i might just keep this hp or i would turn it into defense by 18 percent it depends on what happens there all right i'm going to show you guys my kaio set because i feel like that's one of the best ones i have right now so okay this one let's remove roger okay let's just remove him real quick and i only have two kaidos right now they're all their tags all apply they're really good now i need one more kaido and then i can finish off this metal set now this kaido i don't have his unit so i just have to keep hoping that i'll get him by grinding but if i do get him or i could just get transfer traits and uh of course just transfer him up now if i get that it'll be triple effect for every single freaking tag and that that's probably the best thing you can get for uh metals in general because then every single thing then every single thing in league battle just applies to you so you you will get boost capture speed by 20 percent you will get uh, increased damage up by 10 percent and you will get reduced damage received and all of that now you also have to look at the unique traits of course after carrying an enemy reduce skill one by eight percent and this is also for skill one but when you capture treasure and this is reduce increased damage dealt so it's like a skill one and increased damage dealt type metal but there is another kaido metal where when an enemy attacks you, you will get increase. You will get reduced cool time by uh, two percent for skill one. So if I were to add this, it would just be a triple skill one uh, cooldown uh, metal, and it would also have the triple effect. So I could do that as well. And you will see in league battle that your um, your skill one will be uh, quickly reduced now of course i need to transfer trade both of the kaido medals so i will be doing that off camera and also for this big mom one i mean this one isn't that good because it has the unique traits kind of uh specific if you if you don't want a specific trait then you should probably use like a dress rosa medal where you're if you just stay in the treasure gods you will literally uh be strong and uh not easily die now i would apply a uh tr three metals on roger but i could i could frag him up right now because i have 697 and he needs 636 but i think i'm gonna wait for him to get to 400 frags and then i'll just boost him because i don't really want to waste that much frags on him because i'm trying to save up for the next anniversary so this is his current medals right now as the attacker dress rosa one and hp i need to get 18 18 and 18 on this so i need triple 18 percent on for hp on that medal so that i could get hp by 54 and attack by 54 because i already have attack by 54 but if i unlock this metal slot i will be able to get 70 percent hp and 70 percent attack for roger if i decide to do that so yeah that's what i'm looking forward to and uh the current event uh the current event missions that are going on right now are really good for medals because if you look here ko an enemy 60 60 uh times with attacker and you will get hp by 14 uh hp or attack by 14 or defense by 14 so if you get this you will uh have a good um transfer trait and if you get this you'll have one a good one for defenders and sometimes bandai releases okay so recently bandai released uh recently bandai released a summon for attackers uh metal metals uh transfer traits and that's how i got the attacker by 54 percent on my dress rosa metal but they usually release that but if you just missed it you're just gonna have to wait for the next one and it was pretty cheap it was only 30 gems for it so if you see that banner you should probably spin on it and get like three transfer trades because if you do you could just get a maxed out metal easily and yeah that's recommended anyways 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment down below if, if I missed anything. Subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 500 subscribers. And see you guys in the next one. Bye!